Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. Today in this lecture we will learn about projections of lines. Now let us discuss the second case of line through the statement. A line AB is 50 mm long. Line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Endpoint A and B are 40 mm in front of VP. Endpoint A is 20 mm above HP. Draw projections and trace of line. So let us understand this case through the pictorial view. So over here he said that endpoints A and B are 20 mm in front of VP and endpoint A is above HP. So he has used these two words in front, above. That means the quadrant of the problem is first. So that is why in the pictorial view first quadrant is shown. Now let us understand this case through this view. So line is placed in such a way that it is inclined to HP. See over here it is mentioned line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So that th 30 degree is shown over here. After that he is saying that endpoints C and B are 40 mm in front of VP. So see both the endpoints are shown at 40 mm from VP. Both the endpoints are at same distance from VP. It means line is parallel to VP. The next he says endpoint A is 20 mm above HP. So endpoint A, the distance of endpoint A from HP is given to us as 20 mm. Now in this case you can see we have the second case in which line is perpendicular to HP and it is parallel to VP. Now we know that if a line is parallel to any reference plane on that plane its projection will be a line of true length and if a line is inclined to any reference plane then on that plane the projection of line will be a straight line of reduced length. So let us see these two views now. So in order to get the front view what we will do the endpoints of this line will be projected onto VP and we will connect the projections with the straight line and we will get the front view of this particular line. Now you can see we denote front view by small letter A dash. So we have labeled its front view as small letter A dash, small letter B dash. And whatever angle line has with the horizontal plane, same angle will be formed with the XY line for its front view. Now in order to get its top, observer will see the line from top and uh, both the endpoints of the line will be projected onto the horizontal plane and these two projections will be connected with the straight line and that will be called as top view of the line. Now you can see the top view obtained over here is a reduced view and we denote top view of the line by small letters A, B. And we can see that uh, these two views are drawn in such a way that front view is above top view or we can say top view is below front view. Now in this case uh, one more thing we have to understand he says draw projections and we have drawn the projections and next he says trace of the line. So which trace we will get in this case we will get horizontal trace why because it is inclined to horizontal plane so we will get horizontal trace. So what is horizontal trace when we extend line which is inclined to horizontal plane it will intersect somewhere on the horizontal plane so that intersection will be called as horizontal trace of the line. Now through this pictorial representation we understood case 2 now let us see how to plot this case on paper. So the same set statement is written over here. Now the first step is we will identify the quadrant of the problem. So over here he says in front of VP above HP. So from these two words we can judge that quadrant is first. Now after identification of the first quadrant second step is we should draw that quadrant on paper. So how we draw first quadrant on paper we first draw reference line XY 
then space above is considered as VP and space below is considered as HP. So we'll label VP HP in Gothic style. Now what is the third step? Third step is we will pick that end of the line about which maximum data is given. Now let us search it in the problem. Now he says endpoint A and B are 40 mm in front of VP. It means from VP distance of both the points is given. Then he says endpoint A is 20 mm above HP. So from HP the distance of only endpoint A is given. So it means maximum data about A is given in the question. So we will pick endpoint A first. So let us plot front and top view of endpoint A. So in order to draw front and top of endpoint A, first of all we have to mark a reference point on the line and we will call it as small letter A0. Now let us read the data about endpoint A. So he says endpoint A is 20 mm above HP. So we know that we have to plot this distance on opposite plane that is VP. So where is VP? VP is over here above reference line. So we will align our scale in vertical position with this reference point and from this reference point we will sketch a continuous thin line of 20 millimeters. So we call this line as a projection line. And the end of this projection line will be labeled as A dash because that is representing front view of endpoint A. Now the second data about A is given as 40 mm in front of VP. So plot this on opposite plane that is HP. So line your scale in vertical position with this particular vertical line and from the reference point draw a continuous thin line of 40 millimeters. And this end of this projection line is obtained on HP and on HP we always draw top views so we will label this end as small letter A. So this is the top view of endpoint A. Now after that we will consider the case means the position of the line. Now he says line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Now over here one very important observation we have to make. If we will go back to the previous case, that is a pictorial view. So he said that line is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So it is inclined at 30 degree to HP. But that inclination is visible where? On VP. So this we have to keep in our mind that if line is given inclined to horizontal plane, then that inclination must be shown on opposite plane that is vertical plane fine so now we will apply same rule over here so he says line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP so we will show this angle on VP so how to show this angle on VP we will first sketch a horizontal line from this endpoint and then we will put our protector at this point and we will align our protector with this ref reference line then we will draw a continuous thick line of 50 millimeters which is a true length at an angle of 30 degrees now question comes why we have drawn true length on VP because he said endpoint A and B are 40 mm in front of VP means line both endpoints are at same distance from VP it means line is parallel to VP so on VP we will sketch a straight line of true length which is 50 millimeters but at what angle? At the angle which line makes with the opposite plane which is HP. So this you should keep in your mind. So let me repeat it again. After this step we will see what is the position of line. If he says line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So plot that inclination on opposite plane that is VP and the length of that projection will be true length because he said line is parallel to VP. So on VP we will draw a line of true length at an angle of 30 degrees and we will label the second endpoint of the line B dash so we will call this line as front view of line AB and it is denoted as small letter A dash and small letter b dash. Now in order to get the top view of this line what we will do we will project 
this end point in downward direction with the help of a projection line and after that from this end point we will draw a continuous thick line up to that projector so this particular length will be called as top view of the line a b small letter a small letter b now why we have adopted this method because in the pictorial view you can see when we have plotted these two projections we have seen that front view is above top view or you can say top view is below front view so same case or same rule we have adopted here so from this point we have drawn a projector and from this end point we have drawn continuous thick line up to that projector so we can say front view of a is above top view of a or we can say top view of a is below front view of a similarly if we have front view of b its top view must be below the front view so for that we have drawn a projector in downward direction and in order to get its top view from a we have drawn continuous thick line up to that projector so we got the top of this point and moreover you can see that this line is a reduced line fine and over here one more important rule we have to learn what is that rule that if line is parallel to any reference plane then on that plane its view will be a line of true length but if a line is inclined to any reference plane then on that plane its view will be a reduced length but we don't know how much reduction will be there so in order to solve such cases we have to plot that view first in which we have true length so you will have true length only in that view or only on that reference plane to which line is parallel so in this case line is parallel to vp so first of all we should draw that projection which is on vp so on vp we always have front views so you can see in order to solve this problem we have first drawn front view because this front view has true length so this is another point to remember whenever we are solving any case of line in which line is inclined to one reference plane and parallel to another reference plane then we have to plot that view first in which we get the true length and we will get true length only on that reference plane to which line is given parallel in the quotient okay so i hope up to this point there is no confusion now we will solve it further to find the trace of line now in this case he says line is inclined at 30 degrees to hp it means when we will extend the line it will intersect hp so we will get ht that is horizontal trace so how to obtain the horizontal trace let us see the procedure first of all we will extend this view we were how we will extend we will align our scale with this line and we will extend it so that it should intersect reference line at some point and this extension line should be continuous thin and we should maintain a gap of 1 millimeters and we will make intersection bold and we will call this point as small letter h dash then after that we will align our scale with this view and we will extend this also and its its extension will be parallel to reference line and again same rules we will follow we will leave one millimeter gap and this extension line should be continuous thin then after that from this point h dash we will drop a perpendicular on to this extension so this intersection which you will get we will make that intersection bold and we will call that as horizontal trace now after that we have to place dimensions so we will draw extension lines from a dash and b dash and remember these two extension lines must be perpendicular to the projection and we will place the true length of the line which is 50 millimeters and after that we have to show these two distances that is 20 millimeters and 40 millimeters so how to place from this end point we will draw a continuous thin line towards this side then we will place dimensional line 
Then in order to show the other dimension which is 40 millimeters, we will extend this extension line and we will follow the rule of chain dimensioning and we will place the other dimension as well. So I hope this particular case is clear to you.